Job 41 introduces us to a very mysterious creature, Leviathan. In prehistory, this giant sea creature was an object of fear that could come out of the dark sea at any moment and bring death and destruction. Some interpret this dragon-like creature as an illustration of Satan, an overwhelmingly powerful force that could strike at any moment. God asks Job, can you catch Leviathan like a fish and bring him in? Can you catch it and make it your pet? Does it look to you and beg you for mercy? Obviously, God is asking Job some rhetorical questions in order to humble him under God's absolute authority. Verse 10 through 11, God says, And since no one dares disturb it, speaking of Leviathan, who then can stand up to me? Who has given me anything that I need to pay back? Everything under heaven is mine. God is the source and the creator of all things. Everything we have comes from God and everything belongs to him. He doesn't just have rights to what we give back to him or what we do with our Sunday mornings. He doesn't just own our entire bank account. Our very lives belong to God and we ought to live fully and exclusively for his glory. It is pride within us that tells us anything otherwise. We can often think that we have power, that we have control, and when suffering comes, we have rights to ask God some questions of our own. Well, in this chapter, God gives Job a sharp reminder of his own futility and great cause for him to fear the Lord. If Job is completely helpless against creatures like Leviathan, as we are against the powers of darkness in this world, why would we not live in complete submission to our God who has all power and fills us with his power through Christ? When we were without God, helpless and hopeless against sin, the God who created creatures like Leviathan demonstrated his fierce and relentless love for us when he came to earth in Jesus Christ to defeat the curse of sin and death by taking our place on the cross being resurrected from the dead to validate his claim as God, Lord, and Savior. In Christ, you and I have nothing to fear. My prayer today is that we will humble ourselves under his supreme authority so that the world around us will see and know his fierce love for all people and his awesome power to bring life and healing to all creation.